Where are you going? Damn it. Ninja snipe. <laughs> what? Welcome back, folks. It's time to play with this uh, monstrosity. You have to be a masochist to play this thing. <laughs> it's so rough. I mean, it is like a mouse. It's a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. But it doesn't have the health. Only 2,000. And it's... The guns, if you want to play with a derp gun, the 150mm, go right ahead, but the accuracy is not that good. <laughs> 0 0.48 with a 3.5 seconds aim time, that's god awful. And the 128mm, it's not as good as the E75's version. So the E75 has way better accuracy, way better aim time, and faster reload. So. This guy is way better on the E75. So this tank is... The mouse chin is... A masochist tank. Fudge it. I already played like one round with it. It's not that bad. <laughs> not that, that bad. Oh. Alright. I've been getting all team killers and idiots all morning. So hopefully these few rounds will be better. But let's play with the 150mm first, then we try with the 128 Oh, thank god. It's only mouse chin. <laughs> but, load. but yeah, the penetration is not the... the best. It sucks. 225. Yeah, it's not that good. But it does go through stuff like the T-54E1 or the AMX-30, so... Or the T-49s. But it's mostly mouse chin against mouse chin. Mostly. Ugh, this thing is huge. It takes 20 seconds to reload. So we'll play with the 150mm first. Then we switch to the 128. Ugh. Yes, yeah, so everybody goes to that corner because why not? There's a Doom Turtle and a Tortoise. As well as a Panzer IV Waffentrager. Shouldn't be that bad. How the hell do you lose that much health? By ramming a mouse chin? Oi! Oof. Ah, uh, he's behind a building. No shot. Oh, come on, guys. It's only a light tank. He's going to escape. Oh. Well, I'm not there. I'm driving a slow tank. Could not help. Oh, no. I drove myself into a ditch. Shit. <laughs> huh. AMX-30 got him. Alright, time to shoot up. Let me turn on the... Always. Because we don't have XVM. There we go. At least to have that, then nothing. Yes, two more shots. 100, uh, 200 millimeter pin. I don't think it can go through my frontal plate easily. Where the hell did he go? The view range is terrible. Oh, he escaped. Oh, another mouse turn. No problem. <laughs> 
just randomly derps a shell. Nope. Nice shot there. I wonder if I should switch to high explosive. Oh, lag. Bounce off the T-54. Hit the side of the cheek. Oh, accuracy. Oh, it does have a very high penetrating gun. 120 millimeter. Let's wiggle. Let's drive back and forth to make it a hard target. While we reload. Through the mantle again. What the frick? Is the mantle that weak on this thing? I played it before. Nope. Try to bait out shots. Nice, good stuff. Let me get him. I got him. Yeah, showed him. Oh. Nice stuff. Aha, uh -huh, he got tired and switched to high explosive. Ugh, the commander hatch is still pretty strong. But we can double team. You don't want to sit still because he can just shoot at your weak spot easily. Oh, switch to high explosive now, I guess. This thing cannot penetrate itself. Trying to bait out shots. Das muss wehtun. There you go. Chip him off. <laughs> one by one. I'll keep high explosive the crap out of him. I'll high X him. <laughs> this is such a stupid battle of I cannot penetrate, I'll use high explosive. Oh, bullshit. That lagged for a second. As you can see, the commander hatch does not get penetrated easily. It's 200 millimeter. That's bullshit. I can lag for a second. See, he shot the commander hatch. Did not pin. So this this guy is smart. He's using his gun. He's using his gun to block his um, weak spot by pointing his gun directly in front of his gun, the other guy's gun. So that's actually a good play. Nice, good stuff. So, as you can see that, he's using his gun as space armor to protect his commander hatch. So that's what you should do. Good stuff. 
So, and he's wiggling. So this guy's good. Ugh. But yeah, that's how you should drive. Okay, that was a bad shot. That was a... So he go back to using his gun as space armor. So, good stuff. That guy's angling. Alright. That's how you do it. Ugh. But yeah, the mantlet seems weak. The frick? Alright, let's try again. Let's try again. Both are good. Your call. Alright, the new swamp map. This got changed. So, good stuff. But, it's mostly rough with this thing. Mostly. Oh, the base got changed. That's new. So, no more camping. And this is likely going to be the new heavy tank spot. So we'll go there. And it's a good. We have some tier 8s, some tier 9s, and the rest are tier 10s. Half of them are tier 10s. Ugh. All Americans are sons of whores. Yeah, but I mostly saw Russian douchebag that team kills today. So, your call. <laughs> Your call. It's mostly Russians. And some EU. I have not saw one US player with the underscore US that team killed today. So, it's not looking good. Well, then again, there's not that many US players on the test server. <laughs> oh well. So the castle is the new thing for heavy tanks. But yeah, this thing is, um, is... Oh, great. See? Let's see. Leopard 1. Are you? That's Russian player. Oh yeah, you're not a son of whore. You're, you're the one who team killed, you ass. So, yeah. This tank is a troll against lower tiers because the commander hatch and the cupola, or commander cupola, is rounded 200 millimeters, which means it will still bounce if you don't hit it square on. So this thing is a troll, if it's top tier, and most of them are tier 8s and tier 7s. So, I think it's still pretty good. And considering that the VK requires a nerf, because it's way too OP, this is a good fit. I mean, it's not that bad of a fit, but it's not that... Mished! Bounced! Bounced again! Bounced! <laughs> wow, the accuracy is pretty good. I snipe a crowd. How far was he? Like 500 meters? And he bounced all his shots on the upper glazes. And the side of this hurt. <laughs> Surprising German accuracy. <laughs> Surprising. It feels Russian. Alright, I'll give it that. It's Russian accuracy on a German tank. <laughs> I sniped him. <laughs> but I snapshot him. Oh, close to snapshot. That was good. Alright. This thing is not that fast. It feels like you're playing a slower Black Prince. Yeah. The Black Prince has very good power to weight ratio. It's just that the top speed is not that good. So you feels like you're driving around pretty mobile, but it's not that fast. This thing is about the same as a Black Prince in terms of mobility. But it's not that easy to turn out. Good stuff, Persh. Snapshot you. Where the hell are you? Oh, lower plate. Good stuff. But let's see if you can aim for my commander hatch. Nice. Touche. You deserve it. You deserve all of it. He sniped my commander hatch. And easily. I need to drive up to the castle because I'm getting flanked. Oof. Well, then again, my teammates are there. What is a 
268, what are you doing? Ow, bad chat. Angle. Alright, let's protect. The gun depression is not that good. Oh, the gun depression is terrible. Nice, nice. Say, use the gun to protect your... Protect your commander hatch. <laughs> he bounced on the side of the turret. Oh, guys, I need some help. I'm being double. F Ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah, I got the Persian. <laughs> I totally got the Persian. So, yeah, your turret is still pretty strong, but use the gun to protect your gun mantlet. <laughs> Wait. Gun mantlet? Use the gun to protect your commander hatch. So, rise your gun up and cover your commander hatch with the gun. Now this works a lot better if you have a center mounted commander hatch like the T29 or the T30. So just raise your gun forwards while pointing your guns up. will protect your commander hatch by using your gun as space armor. Whereas when you're playing the mouse chin, the commander hatch is on the right side of your tank. So you have to turn the turret a little bit and point your gun diagonally upwards to protect your commander hatch from being shot at because the gun acts as space armor so you saw it with the previous clip and the 150 millimeter gun is not that bad against lower tiers but you might struggle against tier 10s so it's up to you if you want to unlock this gun but once you unlock it you'll unlock it for the E100 so you don't have to grind it on the E100 so that's the upside of grinding it on the mouse chin uh, it's up to you. Uh, yeah, this thing could take a beating, but remember, once you get flanked, it's still pretty rough. So it's the same as a mouse. All right, let's play with a 128 millimeter. Well, that was pretty good. Bounce a few shots from the AMX 50B across like 400 meters or something. But let's play with a 128 millimeter. And please give me a good team that doesn't team kill. So many retards. Ugh. So rough. It's like, oh, mouse chin. Let's spam gold on it. Oh, there's no banning mod or banning bug now. So let's just team kill all the scumbags. <sighs> so rough. And so many idiots. All right. Let's see how well the 128 millimeter do. It's more or less like the mouse now. Oh, I'm lagging like 500 milliseconds of latency. And there's three artilleries. All right. <sighs> Fucking scum. 
goddamn Russian retards. He's dead. Thank you. God, fucking moron. Can't have a good game on the test server because of these stupid idiots. I mean, I hate scumbag like everybody, but still. Jeez. Der ging nicht durch. Top of the turret is still hard to hit. Ooh, high explosive. The reload sucks. It's even worse than the E75. Der ging voll durch ihre Panzerung. It takes 15 seconds to reload. It's a long time. Alright, switch. Back to AP. Side scrape. Well, it's more accurate than the Derpy 150 millimeter, but 0 0.42 accuracy is not the best of accuracies. Yeah. Try to go for the unangled cheek, but oh man, the reload is terrible. No. And the lag is not helping. No, I only hit him once. No lag. What? Gold. Scum. High explosive. Gold. Bounced. I. I mean, it's more accurate. No doubt. High explosive. Again, that's from Hesh. That's from the FE. I, so, the worst part about the FE24202 is the Hesh. Because Gold Shell is worse than your average APCR. Well, it does deal like 100 damage to me, but still. Is it worth it? Oh, size creep hard. Out. Yeah. Ziel erfasst. Wir haben das Ziel verloren. Das war knapp. Okay, he's dead. Erwischt. There we go. High explosive still works. Now remember, there's the object 261.
he's wanting me to go and I have no view range on this thing I'm not going to go out there I know there's artillery Eat it, scumbag! Come here, you piece of crap! Yes. Alright. Space, space, space. Hello. Missed. Nope. That was APCR. I'm lagging. Nope. <laughs> nice driving, bro. Nope. <laughs> Block his route. No. No. <laughs> you want your top gun? You earn it. Probably with this thing. Uh, you want your top gun? You earn it. Yeah. Steel wall, metal, sun. <laughs> you want your top gun? You earned your top gun. I destroyed this gun. Wow. Nice. And there you go, folks. So I'm going to cut it a little bit short because the test server is getting really laggy. And there's so many idiots on the test server, it's just ridiculous. So, yeah. Unless you want to play with the new free-for-all mode that gives you the IS-7, the Leopard 1, the T-57 Heavy. So unless you want to play the free-for-all mode, I would not recommend you play the test server right now. Because team killing idiots. Because the mechanism for banning when you do team damage is faulty or bugged. So that's why people are constantly shooting at teammates without getting banned. So that's stupid. And i rather wait a little bit more until playing the mouse chain a little bit more. So that sucks. But in all honest opinion, this tank, if it's top tier, it does seal club like tier 7s and tier 8s. So unless you're facing like all tier 10s, which is the test server condition most of the time, it's a rough rough tank to play with but the 128 millimeter is not as good as the version on the e75 and the 150 millimeter is not as good as the e100's version but it's all right so this tank is a masochist but it's hard to test it because based on the current test server condition team killing gold shells and top tier in tier 10s so it's hard to test this thing but it's the nerf that the VK4502 be required because that tank is way too OP in my opinion. So, yeah, it's all right. I don't mind it. So, is it worth to get to get it? Me? Yeah. It's fun if you're top tier. <laughs> if you know how to play armor well, this should be okay. But yeah, you have to hide this commander cupola. And the mantlet is surprisingly weak, like super weak for some reason. So that sucks. The hull armor is great because it's a mouse hull armor mostly. But the turret is super weak. Let's see. It's the same turret. Why is it weaker on this thing 
it gets penetrated by the mantlet a lot and the side of the cheeks also get easily penetrated. I mean, are they using gold shells? Maybe. So it's hard to test armor values with the test server because gold, top tier in all tier 10s, and now idiots who goes team kill. So there's somebody at the door. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Do you somehow remember how we gazed up at the atmosphere and how we watched the sunset go and fade away? As I walk to the future, I'll still keep that promise that I made from all those endless summer days. The I don't seem the last in coming dawn that went by so fast Their meanings of everything were not far Did you fail to remember how we gazed up at the atmosphere And how we never saw the sunset look the same 